back from the Tour du Mont Blanc trail in France uh, just a couple of days ago. I washed all my clothes, got rid of all the smells and now I've got my pack sorted again and I'll tell you all about what I took with me on the Tour du Mont Blanc trail in France. And I brought this all spray pack with me. I loved it, but because um, this trail is well supplied with food and supermarkets, I still think it's a little bit big. Please note that I did not bring a sleeping bed or a tent because I say that the refuges. What I hate about this bag is that they keep on falling over. So usually I have something at the bottom to keep it from flipping over, but now I don't. I also brought this East Pack Fanny Pack. It was good, it's a little heavy, but because I had it lying around, I just wanted to test it out. Since I loved my Fanny Pack on the Tour du Mont Blanc, I bought myself another one. As you can see, it's packed in on itself, and now it's this. So it has a pocket here in the front mesh pocket so I put like my hanky in there so it can dry a bit then of course the big pocket regularly with a lot of space and this little pocket where you can put like some keys or something uh, I really love it and another pocket at the back you can also adjust it so there's also a little strap here and you can clip it in here is my ibuprofen and some earphones also my wallet and my souvenir on the other side there's my spork i always lose it so now i've got a fixed spot for it so i'll always know where to look my pens i've got a black one and a pencil and a passage for mandala drawing i really like it I highly, highly recommend trekking poles on a Tour du Mont Blanc because it's really steep ascents and the descents are just really bad for your knees. The straps are great, I don't get blisters on them, which I often do, and the locking systems is just really easy to use. That's all you need to do and to close it, you just unclip it, slide it back in and clip it back. Very good. So I brought this Osprey backpack with me and I use these pockets for uh, storage of uh, cookies and stuff to eat and also my booklet. I don't recommend it, the maps are just horrible. Um, but it's well written and there is a lot of extra information in here. So on this page you can see like an altitude profile with the number of meters you have to climb and go down. And then on the next page you can see that there's a more detailed profile with the hours I added it a little bit as well. And then on the other side there's a map but as you can see it's not detailed at all. I recommend an extra map to go with it so you know more about the elevation levels and the surrounding area. On the bottom I use these straps for my ass pad. I didn't really use it because there were a lot of benches so maybe I should have kept it at home. Um, but my flip-flops I use them a lot um, in the refuges to um, just get out of my boots and let my feet air a little. They're great. So on the outside you also see this fin. It's from uh, my hike last year in uh, Norway. I hiked the Olaf's path from Oslo to Trondheim. It's a wonderful path. Uh, it's a pilgrim route, so that makes it kind of religious, but also uh, very social with nice people along the way. In here I've got my sun hat, also by Degapon, of course. I mean, it's, it's just backpacking, it's not a fashion show. I've got this uh, small towel, also from Dickabong. I'm glad I only took a small one, 
because it's easier to dry and to use and stuff and some socks I usually have them drying on my pack and when they're dry I'll put them in here and my buff um, and I use these binder clips for drying I also use them to close my uh, food packets now let's see what's on the inside uh, on the top I have my rain jacket, um, it's one from Vaud, 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 um, it's my cycling rain jacket but it's, I took it with me because I was expecting a lot of rain and yet it didn't really rain. Then I have my food bag, um, it's just a regular shopping bag um, with some food in it. And I also brought I bought uh, Sawyer Squeeze, uh, which I used for the first time. I really liked it. It's, I don't really think it's necessary on the trail, but um, it gives a little extra peace of mind, so that's nice to have. I also stayed at the Lac Blanc Refuge, where they don't have fresh water, so I could use that water and filter it so it was clean. That was good. Okay, then I also brought my stove with me. Uh, Jet Barrel Minimal, great stove, little big, little bulky, but I like it. And a few canister, of course. I also have a water reservoir, which was quite handy. But I also like the bottle from Sawyer Squeeze, like the bag. With only the water bladder it would have been difficult to get it all out and in again. Oh, it's raining. Okay, I'll put this over myself so it keeps it dry. Okay, so this is my ditty bag. And another ditty bag. I've got two. So this is everything inside my ditty bag. My face mask hand sanitizer, some cold hard cash in a bag, everything to keep my teeth nice and clean, and everything to keep my body clean. I've got a shampoo bar for Lush for my hair, and some Savo de Marseille, which is dirty. Can soapy dirty? A comb for combing your hair. Sunscreen from Good Mayeur, because my other one was empty. A spare light, a knife, for cutting cheese. Some rope. This is Metzer Scored. Duct tape. An emergency blanket. My headlamp. A big battery pack. 10,000 milliamps. And an iPhone cable, micro USB, and a plug. And my tripod. And this is everything that's in my first aid kit. So, I've got a little list I always keep with me, so I make sure not to forget anything. It's in Dutch, but um, hopefully you'll understand. And my sunglasses. I also brought a case. Um, just my regular sunglasses. I think they're pretty. Okay, let's get moving, but we're getting wet. Oh, it's Belgium. I've got this tracker. I had to take it for my parents. Um, it's the Trace Master. Um, so it works on a cell phone signal.